Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall for Wednesday, June 15th. It's Holy Trinity Week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Praise be to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. Then he places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Our pastors and uh, Mr. Schneck and uh, Glenn Volkman from our congregation are attending um, district convention this week. Uh, yesterday was a full day, and today probably tends to be more um, than a half a day. And um, this year we are gathering under the theme, um, encourage one another. I'd like to share with you um, just a verse that was part of our opening service yesterday um, from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. This is the word um, of the Lord. Um, at District Convention, it is uh, it starts with a big worship service, and uh, that is always a joy. Um, I'd say it was a special joy this year. Um, Pastor Free was privileged to be the preacher. Um, I was privileged to have a part in putting the service together as um, the district worship coordinator. So it was just a joy to see all that come together and um, to hear such great musical talent and uh, to lift our voices um, in, in praise. And then, and then there are different things yesterday, um, uh, district president's report and uh, a great encouraging essay um, from uh, president of Martin Luther College and um, reports from our board for home missions and our board uh, for world missions, as we think about um, the gospel going forth in our name, with our support and with our prayers, um, to places where you and I personally can't take it, and that's always an encouragement. Um, where I was sitting from my vantage point towards the back of the convention hall, um, these words that we heard at the opening service um, just came back to me time and again, Finally, all have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. And, uh, you know, where would such unity of mind come from? Where would the ability to sympathize, um, to to care for one another, um, to to share another one's burden? Where, where does the love of brothers, Philadelphia, right, the city of brotherly love, philos, actually, to love one another as a brother, and a tender heart and a humble mind come from. As we heard Sunday in our church service, that the Holy Spirit sent um, by the Son and from the Father 
the Holy Spirit who continues to work and create in us the fire of his love, the Holy Spirit who gives us such gifts. And I want you to think about your role um, in your home, your role in your workplace, your role uh, in, your, in your extended family, your role in, in a congregation. As, as I get to think about our role in, a, in the bigger church body um, yesterday, how much uh, blessing comes from you showing brotherly love? How much blessing comes from your tender heart and your humble mind? Of course, this only comes through the power of the Spirit. This only comes to us as forgiven children of God. Um, but I would dare say, especially in this day and age, a tender heart and a humble mind will go a long way that God would continue um, to bless us as a congregation. But, but finally, as the gospel message goes forth, and, and oftentimes through you, um, may you, as Peter encouraged um, in, the, in the first century, my encouragement to you, your unity of mind, your sympathy, your brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind um, for the good of his church. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, dwelling in majesty and mystery, filling and renewing all creation by your eternal Spirit, and manifesting your saving grace through our Lord Jesus Christ. In mercy, cleanse our hearts and lips, that free from doubt and fear we may ever worship you, one true immortal God, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, living and reigning, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to be, create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Just